Hello everybody and welcome back to Vex Hex Minis. I'm your host Haley and I'm Audra and today marks day one of the big ass build wherein we are doing the grand unboxing of both of the dollhouses. Both of them. Uh, yeah so just what Audra said tonight is the night we're actually going to take all the pieces out of their boxes see what we're looking at and just kind of get a head count of how many pieces each one of them is. How small are the parts? What comes pre-built? What doesn't come pre-built? The shingles. I know there's going to be a lot of shingles in those boxes. What needs to be sanded? What doesn't? Um, and even just sort of identifying spots right now where we know we'll have to do work on just so we can mentally. We don't know yet if the room dividers are grooved in so there won't be an easy way to move them or if it's going to be on a flat surface you just glue Ooh, on yourself. Good point, good point. And yeah. you can shuffle it where you want them to go. Additionally, we're kind of hoping there's a set of instructions <laughs> somewhere in there. And uh, that's really about my bar. My bar is right there. <laughs> Anything else above that is we're, we're good for me. <laughs> One addendum. I do want more clear instructions than the poorly translated Paris build. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, we built a desk in this room the other day, and I want the instructions to be better than that. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go through piece by piece, um, build by build, just so that you guys get the most out of, so you guys can really see what it's like to unbox mm -hmm. this at its full strength. Full strength! I am so fucking hyped for this OMG. These are the instructions. We're kind of hoping there's a set of instructions. You can see it's a fairly hefty book. At least it has illustrations. That will be beneficial. <laughs> That's nice. Oh yeah, it definitely says for us to like tape shit. This one has like clay on it. And resin. What? What is this? What is that? Huh, a triangle, yeah. At least the detail, the technical writing on this is great. What's next? I believe these are the sides of the house. Oh God, okay. There's two, be careful. <whistles> okay, so these are the sides. No. Oh. They're coarse, they're not coarse, they're definitely ridged, right? So we have the full triangle point. I imagine this is the side, just as Audra said. I don't know, quite know how to say it. it. It has girth to it for sure. Like if you look at these, these are thick boys. And then they have this sort of siding on it that kind of bevels. And honestly, it's really smooth to the touch. Um, and it kind of feels primed to me. I don't know, how do you feel? I can't tell, but from the looks of it, I think it is basically ready to go. So that is really cool. Madam Construction Queen, what is next? I believe this is part of that <gasps> beveled gable. I think that's top. where our roof goes. So this is the odd part of the roof. Because the farmhouse has that kind of steeple looking thing at the top, we have to then, this is gonna be the insert for that strange window there. Um, this is also like just a really good size. Um, I mean, here's my hand for uh, comparison. Mm -hmm. This is this is a big boy. So this is the front of our house. You can tell it's a house by the front, by the way that it is. You can tell that it's an aspen tree because of the way it is. Two windows, a very long door, and then, a series of windows at the top. Okay, we have our grooves here. They really have sort of machined all the really good stuff for us. Okay, next piece. Assorted dowels, assorted wood lengths, but look at the fun scalloping that's gonna go along the top of our roof. I already have some really good ideas. Audra and I were looking over the books earlier and we have some really cool ideas of what to do for these to add on and make them a little bit more gothic-y, grotesque. It's gonna be a good time. All right, so this is milled and it's definitely got like a gloss to it, 
Um, it kind of looks like a knotty pine kind of thing, like I've seen in Animal Crossing, not like actual wood. Jesus Christ, I don't know that shit. But like, in Animal Crossing, it kind of looks like the knotty pine. Bitch, where? Um, it's glossy, it definitely has like a laminate finish on it. These are milled into the ground. Um, really making like this really kind of cool lumber-esque effect. Mm -hmm. oh. We're gonna have to fill that in. All right, here's the first spot that we already see we're gonna have to fill in. It's an exact replica of the previous floors I just showed you. However, they clearly have a space right here for the staircase. We hate stairs in this house. We will have to, that is already a point of concern. These are what make the actual rooms. There's a couple of them here. So they're just wall partitions with the same sort of tall-ish door cut out of them. Um, they're just really cool pieces, actually. I just think they're neat. It's kind of nice knowing what the other pieces look like because we see that there's no other grooves inset into the walls, meaning just looking at this piece, we could glue this wherever. Okay, so the room in the uh, Vermont, the attic has a room in there. It's like the whole top of the attic is split into like three semi sections. So this is the two pieces meant to divide them. Note the two large grooves there that likely intersect with the roofing. And then our oh, kitchen how cute. door. Look at how cute that is though. Kind of looks like the Triforce, to be honest. <laughs> So the this is yeah. <laughs> Let's try too hard house maybe. <laughs> so this is the um, front of the dormer. Matches the same sort of beveled edges and stuff. Really freaking cute actually. Mm -hmm. Then we have just a couple boxes left. This is right here. JM401. Right, this says it has eaves, stair blocks, side rails, support triangles. Oh cute! Look at these little that is so cute. I think that is the porch railing. Oh, that's too cute. Oh, I'm so happy we don't have to assemble it. Oh, ourselves. that is so cute. Some columns. This looks like the porch columns. Those will be modified. Actually, I bet you most things in here will be subject to heavy modification. Doors and windows. Oh, looks like wood. Here is the door. Is it hinged? Does it open? No, it's just... Wait, it oh, is! Yeah! It is hinged! That is cute. cute. And then these are the windows and they already kind of come pre-framed, as in they've already put the white lines on there. I am already kind of hoping, was kind of wishing they wouldn't have done that. Uh, A big old bag of shingles! Oh boy. All right. It's daunting even looking at it. <laughs> First up, a box. This one is not labeled, unlike the Vermont. Ooh, it's a varied assortment of flat pieces. But this guy is part of the exterior Cute. wall. Cute. I wonder if it's the far left side of it. <laughs> this could be the side that gets sacrificed in operation. Now keep. So this guy here is part of the previous pile and is also joined by two more smaller pieces. So same thing, if you line them up, the lines actually match almost perfectly so it will be pretty seamless when things are done here which I really like actually. That'll make our lives a lot easier. Some interesting pieces. So this is going to be our doorway here. There is a bay window on the first story of this that is going to stick out. So this could be the home to that bay window. So just like the last house, the interior dividers do have the doorway, but they are not beveled in any way and they are not, um, there's no grooves in the floor pieces we think that will hold this together, which is going to make things really nice for us. And then we got some sticks. No, God, please, no, no. All right, these could be part of the interior attic rooms because it's got that beveled edge again. 
some modern art pieces here. This hefty boy right here is for that boxed window area we have. Cute. It is my favorite piece so far. It's too big for me to stand up on either camera. Baby Triforce. <laughs> then we have yet another pile of sticks. So we had, pardon my feet, we had an L-shaped roof. So my best guess is that these huge pieces make part of that roof. So this will make the long part of the L and then the short part of the L is going to stick out of that hole there, which is probably what some of those triangular pieces from earlier were involved in. This guy could possibly be the second floor and that's the staircase box. So ah. once again, we are going to have to find a way that's a to deduction. fill this box because we don't do staircases. Fuck staircases. <sighs> okay. All right. Okay, well that was fun. We did the thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know, what are you, what's kind of your take from that? There's a surprising amount of stuff that is actually already built or assembled in a way that makes it easy. I feel like everything I'm gonna say is like, I'm really glad that um, the Vermont actually doesn't have as many pieces, but then the Victoria has like a ton. <laughs> we didn't notice it during the unboxing, but I just realized, um, for example, the Victoria Farmhouse does not have those really glossy wood floors Ooh, yeah. that the Vermont does, which is kind of a disappointment because it's gonna mess with like the matching. Not that we weren't probably gonna murder those poor floors yeah, anyway, but- it just kind of cements that we're gonna have to at this point. Yeah, which sucks because those are really nice floors. So it is a weird mixed bag. Um, but then there were some other things, like even the Victoria Farmhouse, the way they have it framed out to make the L-shaped roof, it's it does look easier than I had expected it to be. Mm -hmm. And that makes me really relieved because it gives us the ability to be a bit more flexible with it, or like the the rooms not the rooms not being grooved in, the room dividers, the fact that we can actually move those where we want them to go. I think the biggest thing for me is um, just the disparity of parts between the two because <laughs> um you know we opened the vermont first and that seemed like a manageable amount of pieces and then moving yeah. on to the victoria it was like seemingly triple the amount of pieces and when you look at them you obviously know there's some degree of complexity differentiation mm -hmm. between the two but when faced with the actual number of parts i was like okay yeah this one's definitely a couple levels up but um, it was, I thought it was really instructional for us. We got to see where we're already gonna have to like peg some stuff, yeah. fill in. And honestly, I kind of understand a little bit about how it's gonna be constructed at this point. Yeah, just seeing the pieces does give you that like mental map to be like, um, well, if the side piece looks like this, then we know that the roof piece conjoins here and here with the yeah. other walls. And it does give you a really good groundwork to kind of be like, Okay, I kind of see, like, I'm not saying I know how to build it without instructions, but I'm hoping that it gives me the knowledge <laughs> that if we're gluing something together, we'd both be like, hey, I think this is wrong. Next step for us, it's gonna be, we're gonna read these. Yep. Um, because even through our um, initial perusal, like I saw that they needed, we need painters, tape to like, hold them together and we need to maybe sand some stuff. We need to prep something. So we're going to read these tonight immediately after and then um, make a list for that. And then we're going to start reviewing all the books that um, arrived this week. We got some yeah. really great stuff um, in terms of exterior design, like most of it's exterior. So we're going to mm -hmm. look at the books and like, we're just gonna start deciding. This is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. This is yeah. what we're gonna do. This is our color scheme. This is what we want to add on to the siding. So then we know, oh, well, if we're gonna add these swirls onto the siding, we're probably gonna make that out of paint versus pipe cleaner versus clay versus glue. Um, so we can get that shopping list going for what we're gonna need to start assembling these guys. Because while we do have some supplies, like, Something in this looked vaguely like concrete. Yeah, it was weird. There's some um, putty, mis <laughs> putty maybe type. Maybe wood filler putty. I'm not sure, but whatever it is, we don't currently own that. So <laughs> that's our uh, homework for this evening. this evening. But otherwise, I, I'd say this was wildly successful. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching us <laughs> unbox 
random pieces of wood and puzzle out what shapes go where. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. Until next time, yeah. vex this mess and see you later.